Hello, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell coming to you from my living room in Arlington, Massachusetts, where my wife Sue and I are sheltering at home, as the saying goes. We have two visitors with us today. It's safe, don't worry. Uh, my son, Jack, and his wonderful dog, Max, who he brings to visit us now and then. You will see Max in the picture from time to time, uh, and uh, he, as you all know, dogs rock. What I wanted to do in, in this short video is talk about anger and ADHD. Anger is pretty common in those of us who have ADHD. You know, my analogy for the condition is that it's like having a Ferrari brain with bicycle brakes. Well, when you get really mad, your brakes are failing you. You're not controlling your energy or directing it properly. Uh, being able to get angry at times is very helpful. But it should be like a sneeze, you know, clearing the moment, clearing the passages, uh, protesting justifiably. You want to be able to sneeze. You want to be able to get angry. But what you don't want to do is become wildly destructive, throw things, hit people, hit things, kick things, break bones, break glass, break relationships, which is often what happens when you become uncontrollably angry when your brakes really fail you. And, and, and you know, it, it, can be, it can be like a toxin. If you're walking around or with someone who is prone to getting very angry, uh, you, you become tentative around that person, skittish around that person. You don't want to be around that person. And that person can end up holding the entire household hostage because everyone's wanting to walk on eggshells the lest he, and it's usually a he, but sometimes a she, lose it and, and become, uh, you know, out of control. So watch out for the triggers. What are, what are the triggers? Well, right now, it's a tough time because one of the things people with ADD hate is being cooped up, being fenced in, being told what to do. We are natural renegades. We are natural open prairie types. We're natural run, run, run wild, run free. You can't do that now. We are cooped up. We are necessarily fenced in. We are necessarily held behind very strict boundaries. We hate that. It goes against our grain completely. We don't like rules. We don't like doing what we're told. The best way to get us to do something is to tell us not to do it. Well, now we're being told every second not to do this, not to do that, not to do very natural things like shake hands or embrace someone or walk into a, 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 a party. We, we can't do that, and we shouldn't do that. But it sets us up to be unusually prone to getting angry. So you, you, you want to watch out for that. Other triggers that are common if we get interrupted. Uh, we're often to flip, why, why, why are you interrupting? Wait a minute, what's going on? You know, we, we fly off the handle if we're in the middle of something and someone interrupts us. Gently interrupts us, politely interrupts us. Um, if we are having trouble doing something, we get frustrated. If we're working on the computer and it's not doing what we want it to do, we can just lose it and start screaming at the computer, stop it, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. That's, that's our way of expressing frustration. We overheat. And then, and then, of course, performance plummets. When you, when you lose it like that, your performance goes out the window. Hello, Maxwell. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you're such a good boy. He, I, I tell you, he's dogs. Everyone, get a dog. Get a dog. Get a dog. Get a dog. The dog will, will be a wonderful antidote for whatever anger you might feel. Could anyone be angry with you, Maxwell? It's impossible. It's impossible. You're such a good doggy. It's, they're, they're just... You know, they're marvelous, marvelous uh, friends. Everyone should, should absolutely have one. Uh, another, uh, another thing to try to get as much of as you can are reassurances. You know, yes, it's stressful now, but we do have a plan. We're working on it. We need frequent reassurances. We with ADD, we're like sponges. We need a lot of that. But give them in return. Give as well. Don't just be a needy person, be a, be a giver. And that, of course, leads to my favorite remedy for everything, which is to connect. To connect with one another. Accept it if someone gets angry. It's a sneeze. Move on. Accept it. We're all stressed out. We're all impatient. We're all, you know, ready to be triggered and, and uh, frustrated and, uh, 
uh, pent up and, and sort of know that. So manage your expectations, manage your expectations and, and realize that, you know, it's hard. It is hard, but it's also doable. And as a nation, we tend to be very doable types. We tend to be very find a way, find a solution, you know, invent it on the spot. And, and out of this, I, I'm certain, will come a whole slew of inventions, a whole slew of new procedures, a whole slew of new ways of getting on, doing business, and interacting with one another. Um, I have a patient who told me, you know, dating suddenly, is, it, he said, I'll never go on a, on a, on a you know, uh, computer dating uh, date again without first Zooming. You know, he said it's the perfect way to, to decide if you want to move forward. So. New stuff. I mean, Zoom is, is carrying us all. Uh, whoever invested in that is doing very well right now. But but understand the anger is is a it, it, keep it like a sneeze, a, a clearing of the passages, and try to rein in your tendency to just lose it completely because bad things happen there. Uh, and 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 try to understand and, and manage your expectations. And also the obvious, get enough sleep and get some exercise. And, and you can exercise, you can download the seven minute workout and, and exercise at home. You don't need a gym, you don't even need to be outdoors. Uh, both, of those, both of those things will help with reducing anger. <sighs> That's a long, a long uh, soliloquy on anger. I, I hope it made sense to you. And Max, did it make sense to you? Is you said what you're gonna do with anger from now on? Yes, thank you very much, thank you. Thank you all for, for listening. Um, God bless you in, in, in dealing with the, all, the, all the tough times we have right now, but we band together and, and connect with one another. We'll, we'll make it through. This is Dr. Ned Hallowell wishing you all the very, very best. Bye for now.